What's up guys, it's Terminal Gamer here bringing you a kind of tutorial sort of thing where I'm just going to be showing you guys how me and my team do the raid. So thanks to Karma, Bentley, Atlas, Spinning and Lube Jobs for doing the raid with us. So this is just going to be me showing you guys and telling you guys how me and my team do the raid. So to start off with, you'll spawn near the Court of Oryx and then two relics will be in front of you. And basically, you have two people go and pick up those relics. A shield or a barrier will spawn in front of you. You have to shoot down the barrier, then go dunk the relics into the core. There will be a little glowing orb where you need to dunk the relic. And then the second two relics, because it does it six times over. You've got to repeat it six times, basically. The relics keep going further and further away, and it is timed. So you do need to be relatively quick and watch out for these phalanxes, because they are stupidly annoying and they push you off a lot. So me and my team are on the second lot of relics now. So all you need to do, you just take, if you have a six man team, just take three and three people on each side. This is how my team do it. As you can see, I'm just running back now just to prepare to get the relic for the next one. So it makes it easier. And then my other two players can run over and shoot the shields for me so I can just run straight through. But when you get back to the court, there'll be a shield this, there. It's blocking you getting into the court. And there'll also be a couple of phalanxes they are also there and other things just trying to make your day difficult basically so yeah you've got to dump the relics every time roughly at the same time it doesn't matter I think there's like a five second gap probably but you've got to do it roughly at the same time otherwise it will backtrack you one now the good thing about this it will only backtrack you one I think in the hard raid it's gonna just make you restart the whole thing when you fail once so that's just a theory of mine but yeah as you can see, I am holding the relic, and I'm just simply waiting for the other side to get over in here so we can go dunk, whilst all the rest of my side are just down in all the ads for me. So as you can see, I'm just looking around for where to place the relic. There you go, just dunk it like that, both of them dunk at the same time. Then you just run back to your right or left, depending on which side you were on in the first place. Like, you split up into the teams of three at the start, and you just want to keep doing this, rinse and repeat, over and over again. Now, I'd suggest picking one Relic Runner because it just makes life simple. Preferably the one who's either the quickest or has the less amount of light. Just because the other two need to be killing the adds and shooting down the shields. As Bentley will be doing right now, he's taking down the phalanxes for me. And then Lube Job is shooting down the shield. So I'm just going to try and dodge all these guys. And then you just want to keep doing this. Run into the court. Lube Jobs has already shot the shields down. Their side is already done from Karma and Alex. And then you just got to wait for them to come up here, shoot down the shield and take out a couple of adds. If you do try and run in there, when there's all them adds in there, you are most likely, in fact definitely, going to die. I mean, we tried and I only just survived that little run there. But, yeah. So you've got to do this six times. And yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty difficult. And as I said earlier, this series is going to be... Just basically me telling you how to do the raid. And yeah, Bentley's already picked up the relic for our side. So is Chris. So I'm just going to go back and up taking down those adds. Um, Stormcaller for Warlocks is probably best at this point. I don't know why I'm Sunsinger. But yeah, Stormcaller is probably the best because of the ad clearance. And then for Titans, Hammer of Soul probably. And then for Hunters, just Nightstalker. So basically the three new subclasses are probably the best for this point in the raid. As you can see, I'm trying to help the other team get through their shields, and now I'm just going to jump in there like a maniac, just down some adds with the relic shot, with the raid shotgun, which is such a beast. If you can get it, I'd use it. Now, we've only got one more relic left. Now, this is the furthest relic. The relics might spawn in different places for different teams. So, I've done it a couple of times now and seen relic in different places. I've gone left and right, so I've seen them in loads of different places. But yeah, I'm going to go and grab the last relic now. And the last relic is the furthest away, as you can see. But as soon as you pick up the relic, you've got to move your ass back to the court. Because you haven't got long when you pick up this relic. If, you're, if you have vibrations on, guys, it does help. Because you will then know when the time has slowly run out. Because the control will vibrate a lot more. And yeah, so that basically means move your fucking ass and get to the court and dunk that orb. But yeah, as soon as you've done this, guys, you will be taken to a portal, which you will see in a second after we dunk this. As you can see, Chris has gone hammer. Just down all the ads as quick as possible so we can go dunk the final relic. Like that. Now, that is basically how you do the first part, guys. 
If you do enjoy this and want to see more stuff like this, more tutorials or anything like that, then just stay tuned because there'll be one going up daily this week until I've completely finished the raid tutorials for you. And then possibly on the Saturday or Sunday of this week coming. In fact, no, it'll be on the Sunday because I'm going, I'm going for a driving experience on the Saturday. But there will be a full raid. Me and my team doing a full raid. Don't know whether it'll be the whole team or not. But we'll be doing a full raid. But yeah, out of this chest, all you're going to get is Moldering Shards, possibly some Synthesis, and Antiquated Runes and Worms. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you all next time. See ya!